Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's a nut here. Today with a new video for you. Finally, I'm sure some of you guys are saying. You've been asking me you know, what's going on and to make some more videos. Well, here's one for you. I'm back. I really didn't go anywhere. I just had a lot of personal stuff going on. I uh, moved, sold my home, uh, have a new house being built, uh, got engaged. So a lot of wonderful things that really uh, took up course, you know, front seat to everything else going on. But I have never ever given up on my passion for water cooling and sharing the information and the things that I have learned with you guys. So uh, I've got uh, more videos coming. And what I thought I'd do here really is kind of make this a subscriber video. So for those of you who have been asking and posting questions both on my Facebook page uh, and on uh, my YouTube videos, so what I thought I'd do is kind of give you a look as to uh, what my setup is like, show you my current office setup. Uh, this is a, a rental home that I'm in right now, but uh, I have a pretty nice little office here. And uh, I'll show you my system, uh, my setup, the tools that I use on a daily basis, uh, show you my uh, build space, which is a lot smaller than what I had in my previous home. I actually had my you know, whole section of my basement allocated to building and testing and multiple test beds, but I don't have that for now. Uh, I will again have a bigger space when I move into my new home, um, but that's going to be about six or seven months from now. So uh, for now, uh, maybe uh, you guys would like to see what I got going on here. Hopefully you find it interesting and then I'll share with you at the end of this video uh, the upcoming builds. So let's go ahead and have a look. Alright so here's my command center. Uh, let's start over here first. So I have here a uh, laser laser jet pro cm 1451 color laser printer. That's what I use. It's a multifunction printer that I do all my printing of course, and uh, scanning and, uh, you know, all your basic uh, copying functions that I need. Uh, I do have a, uh, for my, one of my awesome gaming experiences here is a Logitech G27 on the stand with the pedals all mounted and everything. And that's a lot of fun to, uh, to use. Over here, uh, I have, uh, currently in this place here, we have Comcast cable. So that's their cable modem. I used to have Verizon Files, which I really liked. Um, but uh, but this is doing the job and I have an Asus um, router that has the uh, AC uh, just a very good great long-range router I forget the model number I'll have to dig that up all right now coming over to my command center on my desk let's start off with um, the uh, input devices so here on for a mouse I have the uh, Razer uh, Chroma uh, Mamba the wireless version and it has all those nice fancy features. I, I enjoy the, uh, the shape and the size of the Mamba mouse. So I went ahead with the wireless one so I'm not tethered. But I also have a Myonix um, mouse which has got the, the button for um, switching your DPI which so does the, uh, the Mamba as well. So I like that when I'm playing first person shooters. So I will use those. And uh, that mouse actually is a little bit smaller hand grip. I might use that from time to time and my fiance has small hands so she uh, she likes to use that uh, for keyboard I, I like the stealth this is the uh, razor chroma stealth edition that i got directly from uh, razor and i love that uh, keyboard and also have you know the custer custom color set up there um, myself just a little red and green on the uh, wasd keys for the gaming and from uh, an audio standpoint here, let's take a look at those. We have a couple of headphones. That is the uh, SteelSeries Siberia 800. And that's a wireless headset. I love that it's wireless, so when I move around my office, or go around, I'm not tethered. So I use that mainly for grip gaming. It's uh, an awesome, excellent, and I love that the uh, batteries are removable from it. And I have one charging in the, uh, the base station over there while the other one is being used. And I have never run out of power and it's been great and then for some serious audio file listening to music I have some Sennheiser HD 700s and they're fantastic fantastic uh, headphones and that's what I use them on my audio experience so for the Sennheisers and also my other speakers here these are the uh, audio engine A5 pluses so I've got those plus the uh, A8 subwoofer down there so I get some booming, awesome fidelity in here from these speakers. I love them. And those are connected to the uh, to these uh, shit uh, amp 
and um, DAC. So I have the uh, Bifrost uh, shit, Bifrost DAC, and you have a couple of different ways you can connect. I have it currently through USB, but you can have optical as well and coax. And then uh, the headphone amp is the Asgard 2, and uh, that is awesome. That's a that's got some tubes going on in there, and but it's a fantastic. Uh, audio and I just love it. I really really enjoy those and basically uh, that is my audio uh, set up there uh, for For my viewing pleasure. I have had a number of triple screen setups But I recently went to the uh, Predator the Acer Predator with G-Sync and that is just fantastic I really really enjoy having uh, just the one screen when I'm either racing doing racing sims or if I am um, you know, playing a first-person shooter. Um, just the distance that I sit in my chair comfortably uh, to that, you just get immersed in it. Uh, I really uh, did not, I don't miss the triple screens. I got used to, you know, uh, snapping full panels on the different displays and working with different um, uh, views, but um, now I can do that same thing here. I'm just used to it with the, um, with the Predator. So it's plenty, I usually have two large uh, windows open and work between those, but you can arrange three or whatever you need. And then the other thing that I use uh, for input is my mic. That's the Razer Siren Pro. I don't have the XLR uh, interface, so I just use the USB uh, with the uh, Razer, actually that's the Razer shock mount and the Razer um, pop filter as well on a Rode uh, arm. And that Rode arm is fantastic. It's great, steady, and secure. So that's the uh, that's where my body gets uh, connected around. And now I just moved in here and set this up. So there's a lot of wires. You can see my cable management on my desk has not uh, not been done. So I need to take care of that. And then uh, the only other thing over here, I have a laptop for work. So I have a, a you know cable set up and ready to plug in my laptop and a separate mouse pad and stuff for that. Uh, charging my phone. And then I have this uh, Canon. Um, power shot that I use to take some of the stills that you see sometimes on here. Now my system, if you've been following my channel, my system is the uh, STH-10 Monster and I'll put links into the video so if you haven't seen it already, but this system is based on the, here let me just adjust it out of the way, is based on the um, Asus Rampage 5 Extreme motherboard, and I have a uh, three GTX 980s. At the time I bought the 980s, the uh, 980 Ti's weren't out yet. So that is currently, I have those in triple SLI. That's what's running. I have, uh, you know, Mayhem's uh, black and red um, coolant in there with a couple of uh, EK pumps and pump tops and then I did all the custom tubing of course myself and there's also a drainage system that you can't see it's in the bottom front I do have some uh, Aquero and Aquero system controlling all of the water cooling in here those black blocks you see right there are uh, flow flow meters and uh, custom cabling from ice mods and let's see SSDs in here. I have uh, two two terabyte SSDs, one for gaming, one for video capture, the raw files. I have and uh, Samsung. Um, I forget the model number. But it was prior to the Samsung uh, Pro M.2. It's the uh, I forget the model number anyway. Um, that that is in there, and it's. This is, a, there's a monoblock, you can just about see the monoblock, there you go, and I have the RAM cooled as well. And uh, there's a, also, that's a bits power water block setup that I use both for the motherboard and for the graphics cards for the 980s. And there, it's a dual loop, so the uh, CPU is running the red coolant, although it, may, it looks a little pinkish, I guess, here in this view. And then the black is going through the GPUs. And then radiators, I have a couple of uh, hardware labs, um, Genesis GTX 480 rads, one, uh, they're both in the bottom, there's one right here, and then one on the other side of the system. And then I do have a DVD player at the top, I have um, some RGB lighting, 
Uh, and uh, so check out the video if you want to see more about the build and how I did it. Uh, it's a really fantastic build. I love it. And uh, oh, the most important piece probably is the processor is an i7 5930K, uh, currently overclocked to about 4.4 or 4.5 right now. And I have 32 gig of uh, RAM. And uh, that's it, a 512 uh, gigabyte SSD on the motherboard in M.2 with Samsung. So uh, that's the base system that controls uh, everything going on here in this uh, Case Labs STH10. Now you'll notice because of my office setup and it was the same in my other office, I use a uh, reversed layout so I can see the system. And then you can see here uh, the front and then down at the bottom is where the, uh, the Aquero is all running. All right, so now uh, Let's see here, we're going to be able to see some of the lighting. Let me turn some of the lighting around so you can see my uh, workspace for now. So here's a shot of the uh, space that I have right now that I'm using. It's only one table. I actually have about seven of these tables that I had in my previous um, uh, uh, lab set up. So right now in this office, the basement is not finished in this house. So it's kind of cold down there. I will use it if I need to, but for now I have my uh, Case Labs uh, test bench set up here to do some testing. And I have, uh, you know, a, a, just a, a test monitor and keyboard. And I got all of my key pieces that I need to do uh, builds and stuff with there. And then I'll uh, give you a little glimpse of some things that are coming up here. And actually I'm gonna set them out. I do have some sales going on uh, eBay, getting rid of some older stuff like that Dominator RAM and that Rampage 3 motherboard with a 990X. Uh, I'm also giving them, that's the uh, water block for the chipset on that Rampage 3. And then we also have a GTX that's 780. So if you're interested in some good deals, I'm putting most of these up at 99 cents um, to start auctions with. So uh, they're all good working. And if you've seen my videos, you know I take good care of my products. And then I'll show you some of the stuff coming up for the new build. Right now, kind of cramped in here, I got to clean out filter through some of that. I didn't get a chance to do that before I moved. Um, I don't know if anybody guys have been around for a while. You remember that uh, awesome uh, commercial? And uh, yep. All right, so kind of crowded in here. Love my uh, Rat Pack guys and uh, Frank Sinatra. So I'm from that uh, era, although I am young at heart and I love to do all this and play some games. So. Um, next up, I think what I'm going to do is take you downstairs and show you some of the treasures and uh, we'll talk about the next build that's going to come up. All right, so hopefully the lighting's good enough down here. Now this is the, re the results of moving, unboxing. This is most of the gear that you saw in the office. I have it all uh, packaged up here because as soon as that new house is ready, I got to pack it all back up and uh, get it back in. So I still have some bins of cables, power strips and things. Uh, some of my uh, workbench stuff here. Some garage stuff here. But over here, all of this gear, basically just about 90% of everything you see here was from my uh, inventory and systems, reviews, cases and things. For example, this is my um, Clockwork Orange build. And uh, I'm actually thinking about either Putting, a, I still have all of the pieces in that, except I removed and sold the motherboard and the GPU. But this system is just ready to take in another motherboard and, uh, you know, and processor or whatever and be built back up to run. It even still has, this system still has the uh, Aquero. It's water-cooled, hardline tubing that I used. Uh, all connected up there. I even cleaned it and drained it. You see some clear cooling in there. So uh, 1200i, power supply, all these Cougar fans, uh, radiator in the top, 360 in front, 480 in the top, and I believe even on the other side, yep, I have some Raptor hard drives and a, and a couple of, and an Intel SSD. So this system is still hooked up and ready to rock and roll. I'm not sure if I'm going to rebuild or I might just sell it. So if anybody's really interested in some of the stuff, I'm looking to clear a lot of this stuff out 
I do have a number of cases. I have that TH10 right there. Uh, I have not built a system in that yet. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do one right now. I've got a Nitho Primo, my original 600T, and that one also is also configured. It just has no motherboard uh, in that one either. So that's another one I'm thinking about resurrect resurrecting and doing with hardline tubing because I did this one originally with soft tubing. Then here we have a tub filled with water cooling gear. We've got a bunch of bits power stuff, XSPC, bits power uh, motherboard blocks, um, some back plates, pump tops, older GPU stuff. Here's some uh, Monarch RAM blocks, CSQ. I mean, I've got some older bridges, some old and new. So this has been is just filled with um, water cooling parts. There's a lot of uh, Aquero pieces in there too. Boxes in here filled with GTX 680, EVGA X79 motherboard and processor. I was on one of my test beds. A couple of Titans signature. Um, and I got a bunch of displays here. So a couple of 27-inch uh, 1440 displays. A couple of the Acer uh, G-Sync displays. These things are fantastic. I actually had uh, two of these with a 4K display in the middle set up originally before I went to the Predator. And those are great displays. So I'm going to be selling some of these. Um, here is a uh, treasure, a treasure chest full of stuff. So I've got some uh, a backup drive. I've got a bunch of drives to build a uh, a, uh, a home server NAS with. Here's a Synology Disk Station NAS that I have yet to build. Um, this is an X99 SLI Plus motherboard, already processed with a processor on it. Um, some uh, a radiator. What else we got here? Oh yeah, I forgot. I have. Uh, I actually have two of these Strix 980 Ti's. So uh, I think my next build, and I want your guys' feedback, is probably going to include those for sure. I got an Intel solid state drive right here. Got to test out the speed on those. I got some more hard drives. I have to go through this guy here. But uh, so that's one treasure chest of stuff. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Here we have some uh, networking stuff, some Linksys cables. We have a uh, PCI riser card, and I'm going to need to bring this. We've got here a Core i7 3930K, a bunch of uh, Aquero Aqua computer parts, some uh, SSDs. We have here. A Rampage 4 Black Edition motherboard that I originally was going to put in the STH10, but I got I went for the Maximus, I mean uh, the uh, Extreme instead. So this motherboard is pristine. It's never been out of the package yet. So as you can see, I was planning a bunch of builds, but then uh, life happened and I needed to uh, make some changes, and so we did. Let's take a look and see what we got here. It looks like this is a bunch of uh, memory and some audio. I got some uh, another set of uh, headphones. I used those for a while. Those are really cool. They have the uh, the digital DAC that you use with it. Only thing is, it really requires its own USB hub to connect to and work perfectly. So, a um, bunch of memory, more SSDs. Uh, this was a really good. This one with a. Uh, uh, a DAC, these are some pretty good headphones, really good bass. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm going to probably sell that. Uh, let's see here. Some platinum memory, more SSDs, my GoPro camera. I have to look and see what's in those other guys. Let's see what we have in this bin.
All right, we have some more headphones and a lot of input devices in this one here. Got a bunch of uh, mice, Steel Series mice, Vengeance mice, Death Adder Chroma wired version, some Logitech mice, Cyborg Rat. I'm going to be selling that if anybody's interested. Um, couch mice. Oh, an NZXT Hue system. Here's that Myonix that's upstairs, actually. This box goes with the other stuff. And some Logitech here. I do have a Logitech Tournament uh, Stealth keyboard. So a lot of good stuff to be uh, used and shared. And some of this is going to be sold and auctioned up to the highest bidder so I can make room for new stuff. And actually this, uh, this Corsair is right now, I have it on eBay for sale if you're interested. And this uh, awesome Clips Pro Media 5.1 system is fantastic. It's been sitting original in the box, untouched for at least a year. So anyway, a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of materials, a lot of stuff, but um, a lot of stuff to be able to be used in a new build. And what I'm thinking is, I think the next build is going to go into this Thermaltake Core P5. That's one of those desktop or wall-mounted systems. And so let me, uh, let's go back up to the office and let me show you what I might put in that system. So you can see that uh, a lot's been going on. Uh, obviously, if any of you have moved, you know, it's not a fun process. But you know what? It's all good. I'm um, enjoying life. And I really appreciate you guys still sticking around and uh, being with me through uh, some of this gap and being able to provide some videos. But I'm back and ready to do that. And uh, you saw the treasure troves that I had downstairs of parts to uh, use to build. So I've got a question for you. What do you think should be my uh, case for a new build? Now I've already pretty much, I've decided on the processor. I've been uh, away for a little bit um, and not been able to get my hands on uh, any motherboards or anything previously for any Skylake builds. So I might be a little bit late to the game, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So. What I have uh, picked out here is a, uh, an i7 6700K processor. So we're going to go ahead and put this in. And of course, uh, we're going to water cool it in that Thermaltake uh, Core P5 case. So you can see the guts of everything. I thought that was pretty cool. It kind of caught my eye when I saw that case. So I'm going to uh, do a, a Skylake build using the 6700K. Um, if you've seen that case, that case um, has a spot for a, uh, up to a 480 uh, radiator and uh, a tube reservoir. So I've decided, I've not used one of these before, but this is one of the Aqualis um, Aquacomputer uh, uh, reservoirs that has the waterfall effect. So for a case like that, that has the glass uh, front to it, and you can see everything, I thought it'd be uh, really nice to be able to show the waterfall effect, you know, right up in front of you. So, uh, and when we get to the build, uh, I'll take this out and show it to you. But this is a, an Aqualis Reservoir. Um, I also stuck with the, uh, aqu the Aqua Computer and the Aquero controlled type devices, so this actually is just a pump. It's just really just a straight D5 pump. I'm not going to be putting an Aquero in it. Um, I will not be doing that, but uh, this is the uh, pump base to mount underneath the uh, Aqualis uh, tube waterfall uh, reservoir tube. So this is the uh, pump mount for that. So I've got a little setup to do that. That's my plans anyway. And uh, with regards to uh, the the bling on that uh, motherboard. I'm going to either use this Bits Power block. This is an uh, all nickel, or uh, it looks all like stainless, and or I might go with an EK. This is the full nickel block from EK. So again, you'll see these when I get into the build, um, and you you can help me decide. But uh, I like both of these. I'm just not sure which ones are going to look best on the motherboard that I choose. And then the one of the things that does come out, of course, is the new Samsung um, 90, 950 Pro. So I have the 951, that is what is in my STH10, and it's fast, but this is uh, the Speed Demon right now uh, that's available. I think other manufacturers are coming out with their own M2 NVMe-based um, processor, um, not processors, SSDs, but this guy is a Speed Demon, so I want to put him in the build as well. 
Um, I have uh, lots of choices for memory. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'm thinking about something blingy like the Vexir uh, series of uh, RAM. They have some new Radeon ones that look like lightning bolts being, you know, tossed in those. Um, they're pretty big. And maybe I'll do that. I might do something else. I'm not sure yet about that, the RAM. But the one thing that I really, really uh, liked, I saw some reviews recently. And um, again, that P5 case is all about showing off everything. I mean, you know, the STH-10s and any cases with big windows certainly are for that as well. But that case is just right out in front of you and shows everything. So that's going to be, uh, you know, should be straightforward to water cool. But the motherboard, I want to be the centerpiece of that. And what I've decided to go with is the Maximus uh, 8 Formula motherboard. Now, this motherboard has got this type of thermal armor all over. And again, when I get to the build, you'll see it in detail. But one of the cool things about this is that it has RGB um, lighting built into it. And it also has an RGB header. So again, if you're going to have a system that's going to be in a glass case and uh, for CNET, you might as well show off uh, the features of that. So I'm hoping that this uh, motherboard with uh, the processor and all that will give a over good overclock and look really good. So um, that's my idea, and I would like your feedback. So you guys certainly can post and respond to this underneath the, uh, in the comments down below for the video. I appreciate that, any feedback. But one of the things that really allows me to get a dialogue going with you guys much easier is on Facebook. So if you can go to my Ron's and Nut Facebook page, I would appreciate that. And uh, one of the things that I'd like to do um, to give you incentive both to comment here underneath the video on YouTube and or on Facebook is to do a little giveaway. So if you stuck through with me for my new videos, my old videos, and or you're new to my page, one of the things that uh, I haven't done in a while but I'd like to do is to give something away. So what I did is I went down to that, uh, those treasure chests downstairs and I picked a few items to uh, give away. And so first, I've got here a uh, Corsair M65 mouse. So if you'd like that, I just post here under YouTube and or on uh, Facebook. Uh, underneath the link to this video. I'll, I'll post this video up on Facebook and uh, you tell me uh, that if you like this mouse or if you would like this G9X laser this mouse here and uh, let me know if you'd like that or if you want a water cooling part. I have here an EX240 XS PC. It's an all black one and uh, that I will give to you. So tell me which one you like if you don't care. Just say, hey Ron, or whatever you like to say, and tell me you don't care, and I'll pick one of these uh, when I uh, do the giveaway. So I'm gonna open it up, effective the posting of this video, and I'll say we'll let it go for, for a week. You know what, we'll just go for a week. We'll get it to uh, next Saturday, um, the 21st or the 20th of February. After that it will be closed, but um, you guys tell me what you want and I will give all three of these away. Alright, so and this is open worldwide. So you guys just post. Once I select I'll message you and give you the opportunity to give me your name, full name and address and then I'll go ahead and I'll send it to you. So I have uh, subscribers from all around the world. I'm not leaving you guys out. I don't care what it costs for me to ship it to you guys. I really do appreciate all your support. I'm so blessed and so happy to um, be able to do this and be able to share this with you guys. And so um, you guys deserve a piece of it too. I hope you do get enjoyment from my videos and you learn something. And uh, uh, just, you know, these simple little things here, uh, I hopefully you guys will appreciate too. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like. If you did, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. And don't forget to join me on my Facebook page and post under here so that you have a choice, you have a chance to win your choice of these uh, little gifts that I have for you. And uh, again, I'm uh, just very blessed and very grateful that I can do this and share this with you. And I am so grateful that you guys are hanging there with me. And stay tuned for some uh, awesome new builds. And uh, that's it from Ron Tanat. Thanks for watching.